though not quite in game shape, gives you 10 rebounds in 23 minutes. So good performance. Uh, Got to work on my late game situations a little bit with our shot selection and um, and just, you know, not being in a rush when you're up, understanding time and score. But I got to do a better job with that. So we'll take it five and one and move on. Uh, on the year, uh, I think they've been under 40% for a while. Hopefully 32.8 will keep them there. Uh, and I don't know keep them there, but even push them a little lower. 22, what were we going into the game? Do you know uh, anybody? Uh, Larry, 39.6, yeah. We, we've been right under 40 for most of the year, but I should push it a little lower. And the 22 from three should push that number down. Uh, didn't defend the foul line very well again tonight, 74%. So we got to do a better job there. But we out rebounded by eight. Um, you know, that's, a, that's the number two team in the preseason. And the number three team was Northern Iowa. So we've taken care of them at home, and, and now we'll have to go to their place. How gratifying. How gratifying is it? You, you gratifying to keep them under 40% for the year? Is that what you're saying? Yes, sir. Um, it's very gratifying. Uh, being a defensive-minded coach, um, knowing that we struggle at times offensively, um, to to be able to – thats it's a prerequisite, really, Bob. Uh, I think it's something that uh, if, if we're not doing that, we're going to struggle. So I, I don't like to struggle. I like to – I like to do well, and um, it's something that my teams have always uh, strived to do. And, and thank goodness I've had enough good athletes with toughness and quickness and strength to, to be able to do it. Uh, wow, I didn't even know that. Uh, Evansville, and then who was right before that? Southern Illinois. Southern Illinois. Uh, Southern Illinois put on a, a show here. Uh, Desmar Jackson and the guys, they were hitting some incredible shots. And we talked about that that night. Part of it was was our defense. They, they, they get credit for it, but we didn't play very good defense. So um, then Evansville, they just, you know, at home, boy, they, they're tough. They make, they make shots. Did they win or lose tonight at Drake? They lost at Drake? Okay, well, um, I guess that puts us back in second behind Creighton. So it'll be a big game on Saturday. With Carl Hall back, we, we thought we may read and, and see all of these, you know, see Early, Arube, and, uh, and Hall in the same court at the same time together. We didn't see that tonight. Are we going to see that on Saturday for Drake? I uh, don't know. Uh, it's not, that's not the most important thing for me. Most important thing is to win. And if that's the way we, we can win, then, then you will see that. I thought Nick came in. Uh, Takel started the game. He's going to start. And uh, he was very good defensively, got in some foul trouble. Um, but then I thought he was really good. I thought his basket sealed the game for us. He had seven assists, no turnovers in 24 minutes. And he's the best defensive guard that we've got. Um, and then Nick came in. He got a shot, makes three threes in the first half. So, you know, I'm not going to. At that point, I'm going to use my subs, um, Carl and Jake, uh, with the three and the four guys in the post and let Nick uh, get some more run in the, in the first half, but I mean in the second half because he played well in the first. It's a possibility. It's not, it's not, it's not as easy as just saying, let's put Demi uh, uh, um, uh, Clee Anthony early at the three. He's, got a, he's been learning the four all year long. He's a first-year guy. The three is different from the four. Everything that we do, the three has to be one place and do one thing, and the four has to be somewhere else. So it's just not, hey, I'd like to see Clee Anthony at the three. I mean, that'd be great, but it's not that easy. So we're going to continue to work on it. Hopefully, um, at some point, if, if Iki had gone to the three we had already talked about for them, if they went big with Carmichael, um, um, What's the other kid's name? Iki at the three and Wilkins at the four. We would have we would have considered it, but the way Nick was playing, I thought he he deserved some more minutes. How much are you looking forward? How much are you looking forward to the competition with Creighton and clear rivalry game, et cetera, atmosphere? What's at stake, et cetera? I mean, they're they're as good as I've seen in my four years in the Valley. They're I watch I, I cheated a little bit. I watched the Creighton Illinois State game in preparation for this game. And I, I, I watched the first half and I shut it off. I think Ethan Roggy had made five threes. You know, he's like their eighth option and he had made five threes in the first half. So I, I asked Coach Jans, I said, they're playing pretty well. He goes, Yeah, yeah, well, wait, till you, wait till you really pour into them. So um, they're good. 
They're hard to guard. They're very, 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 very good. They're, they're, they're defending well. They're rebounding well. They're the number 10 team in the country for a reason, and it'll be a great challenge for us. So a better defensive effort, would that be something you'd take away? Uh, except at the end, you know, I thought we let them get away a little bit. We, we got a little loose at the end. We were taking bad shots. We weren't r checking out. We weren't uh, running down loose balls. We weren't finding shooters. And we thought the game was over when it was 16 or 18. And I think they cut it to six or seven. So, you know, we've got we to do a better job of finishing out. So we weren't defending well there. But 20 points in the first half. Um, Rich Devosik wanted to talk about uh, – why we weren't attacking their zone better. And I said, well, well, let's talk about our defense. 20 points we give up. I mean, let's, that's that's the story. You give up 20 points and a half, you're going to win most games. Uh, Malcolm's first to kind of end the first half in the was that? Oh, I tell you what, that Malcolm with the steal from Carmichael from behind and then the beautiful look that he had to Demetric Williams. I think Demetric Williams could run down a rabbit if he thought it was for two points. He can run down the court as fast as anybody I've ever seen when that ball is thrown up ahead to him. And Malcolm's got great vision and made a wonderful read there. And I, I didn't think he was going to get it, but Malcolm saw it, made the play, and boom, laid it in. Jake White and I did. Yeah, Jake White was in the right place at the right time, got his first shot blocked, and then he didn't check out uh, Carmichael once. Um, but after that, man, he was tremendous. He was, you know, it, just putting himself in, in, the, in the right position with his spacing and his cutting, and he really finished well inside. He got some nice offensive rebounds, and um, he was big tonight. I thought he, w he was big in the second half. Nick was big in the first half, and Fred Van Vliet was, even though he didn't score, was very big in our run with six assists. Is that Jake's strength, his wildest strength, his uh, instincts? His, is that always a strength, or is that something you want him to work more on. What did you say? His I don't know. Wild, yeah, I wild strength. I don't even know what that means. But I, you know, I will, I will just say that uh, Jake has very good instincts around the basket, not a lot of lift, um, can score with either hand. Um, I, I honestly still believe he can shoot the basketball. And there's Jaquel Cotton knocking down a big three tonight. How about that, you know? So um, as soon as he made that, I'm thinking, okay, I haven't taken that away from him. He hasn't had a red light put up. He, I, haven't, I haven't lived in his head and, and made him think that he can't shoot it and given him all this hesitation when he's towing that line wide open. So he knocked one down tonight. What was he, one for two? Uh, one for three. So that's going to raise his average pretty significantly. <laughs> um, I still think Jake can shoot the ball, and he's a very good rebounder. Mm -hmm.